What is up, Retro Maniacs? My name is Mike, his name is EP, and his name is Joe. And we're here to give you three more retro cards for your PC. I'm going to start it off like always. You know, do you know the 1997 Topps Gallery of Heroes cards, EP? The stained glass cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool yes. looking. Yep. One of the hottest inserts from baseball from the 90s. Well, you know, the Ken Griffey Jr. card in that cost $125. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't have that kind of money, and I, I know Joe doesn't. <laughs> so, I figure, what could I do if I was interested in a stained glass card of Ken Griffey Jr.? Turns out, if you turn the clock back one year to 1996, the studio stained glass. These <laughs> were inserted at a rate at one in 24 packs in both hobby and retail only 12 in the set and that card is only going to cost you 20 to 25 dollars for a wow. stained glass ken griffey jr card now i did a little bit of math here the gallery of heroes were one in 36 so there were only 10 in that set so one in 360 packs would get you a ken griffey jr and one in 288 in the leaf studio would get you a ken griffey jr so like it's 80 percent of what it would be in the gallery of heroes yet the cost of it is like a fifth of the price a sixth of the price even so if you're looking for a cool stained glass card and really who isn't those cards are some of the best cards they put out there ken griffey jr 1996 studio stars 20 25 bucks i looked it up that's all it costs wait a minute i'm confused i thought panini came up with stained glass <laughs> no <laughs> that was was you're telling me that this happened before <laughs> crazy well Mind that's the funny thing though the, the people say oh panini and then people go no tops did it and they're like no leaf did it first <laughs> Which means so uh, Panini kind of did it. Kind of did. They own yeah. now. So yeah. congratulations. So, uh, I think that's how Another it works. win for you. Another W for Panini. Another yes. Panini W. Yeah. That seems like a steal steal of a card, right? Like at that at yeah. that price, it probably should be closer to the other Griffey. Like it should be worth more. Or at than least like is. fifty bucks, right? And yeah. you know what the cost of the, like the the product was when it came out was like the one at ultra high end product. It had to be the same. The gallery was four dollars a pack. I think Studio was probably more like in the two to three dollar range but still that's yeah, not obviously crazy. they probably made more studio but still mm -hmm. a great looking insert you know you want a cool looking griffy card which i like to give you ideas of how to get them <laughs> on the cheap this is one you need to pick up all right ep what do you have for us this week you said you're excited i am i am i have a card that people viewers of the channel well, they've seen this before but um it's it, it checks a lot of boxes so i'm going to talk about it a little bit this this is my 2005 fleer ultra mm. rookie card of uh frank gore i mean i say rookie card but the the crazy thing about well this card he's in his miami uniform i i'm excited that that's um i'm not a huge fan of college uniforms except for the rookies I, I've, I've said that before but um, because uh, of the era I lived in. But if you look at the back, it says gold medallion, and at the regular base card says ultra rookie on it. So technically, it's maybe not a rookie, but I chose this as the rookie because it's a little more limited. It's Fleer Ultra. I love Fleer Ultra. I love the gold medallion idea, one per pack. Platinum medallions obviously are more expensive; they're usually numbered. And but uh, yeah, this 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 was the the card I chose for Hall of Famer, who I drafted as a rookie on my fantasy team. One of my one of my guys for for a long long time. And um, just uh, I, I love love that rookie card and um, yet yeah, another so guy, a, yet another guy you did not win a championship with in our correct. fantasy football league, right? Okay, just well, that's in League, league Three, so that. yeah. But I mean, you keep refer you're referring to multiple leagues, but yeah. So I mean, apples and oranges and 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 we're to Vegas, <laughs> but yeah. So anyhow, that that's my I, I I like that. That's my that is the Frank Gorch card card that I chose to, to have be the rookie in my collection, even though technically it's not a rookie card. Okay. It is now, though. Everything's yeah, a rookie it would be considered now. a rookie, now. <laughs> right? Right, yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, you know, I closed in 2004, so I didn't have any 2005 football, or I probably would have had a ton of Frank Gore in my stuff, <laughs> yeah, right. That's not true. a single card, unfortunately. And that's one, uh, I believe you submitted through group submitter Joe Day. I did, I did, yes, I was gonna say that too. Like, I'm not. like I've, I've submitted uh, through PSA through both of you guys, and that was one of the ones I submitted with uh, with Joe. And um, I got ended up, uh, I remember when I got the card, the, the price on this one is about. But 20 to 18 to 25 bucks like shipped, like that's about the price range. And that great EP, 
Oh, uh, if in that grade is like twenty five bucks. Also raw, it's about about the same. Same thing with this regular rookie card. Like they're they're both about the same. Like the the gold medallions are one per pack, and they have made a lot of it. So yeah, the gold medallion is not worth a ton more than, than anything else. But yeah, so I I, I um, remember when I got it, I was thinking to myself, man, it's not a ten, but it, uh, what if it ends up being a seven, something like that, and coming back a nine, I was you know happy happy with a nine. And um, I, a nine is a near perfect card. It, uh, as about near perfect as probably especially a 10 from is. that era. That yeah. is a right. great yeah. card. Yep. And yep. the yep. fact that they sell raw for this. Around mm -hmm. the same price again. That's crazy. Ridiculous. Get a nine. Absolutely. Yep. Get the ridiculous. nine. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Get the nine. All right, Joe. What do you have for us this week? You know, I'm pulling a trick out of EP's bag, and I am going to give you a base card, the most random ass base card I could think of, and it's really apropos this week, considering the news coming out of Michigan. I thought I'm going to pick a Jim Harbaugh card. Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. And not only that. Do you guys remember in this era where it seemed like the the player on the card that the card was supposed to be about was getting his ass kicked? Yeah, I've seen a lot of those. Like, yeah. it's very confusing to me. I've never seen this in any other sport where you see, like, a hockey player getting checked, and that's their <laughs> card. You get, this like, card... Flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 1999 Metal Universe. I mean, who doesn't love 99 Metal Universe? Mm -hmm. Come on. Jim Harbaugh's card where he is getting sacked by Bears linebacker Andre Collins. There's just something about that card. I was going through as I was pulling cards out for stack sales and eBay, you know, a year ago. And I came across that card. I'm like, how is this a Jim Harbaugh card? How is this not yeah. an Andre Collins card? It's just such a silly card. I, after the news of, of, of everything going on in Michigan, I'm like, I'm going to use that for my, my Friday, my three card show. Um, you can get this for like a buck or two. It's, you know, whatever shipped. I'm sure you might, right. you might have them in your stack sale right now oh, for I'm all sure. we know. I, I don't even know if I put them in, but yeah, I'm sure. I have. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So again, it's a silly card, but there's just some about cards like that, where it just takes you by surprise that that's the, that's the player's card. That's Jim Harbaugh's card. It really should be an Andre Collins card, but it's a silly little card, but I came with some heat the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to give you a dollar <laughs> card, a 50 cent card that you can add to this, this collection. In, in Skybox slash Fleer's defense, there probably weren't a lot, a lot of photos of good things happening for the Colts at that point, right? So there's or probably Jim Harbaugh. Or Jim Harbaugh. I think he was a raven. He was a raven at this point. Really? Okay. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh, a great person to use for Immaculate Grid. Just throwing that out there. He was on a lot of teams. So, yeah, he, he I think it was a raven or charger back then. Yes. That's no another offense fun. to Jim Harbaugh, but he, he was never very good. He was never. <laughs> Captain, come back. <laughs> That's another fun collection to put together, though. If you have all cards of like quarterbacks being sacked and or you know something, I like believe that, there's good. also a Fleer Ultra. I want to say it's Steve Young. It yes, might, I think that right. like like you can barely see him. I think his arm is sticking out of the pile of players that are sacking him. The I think Jim Kelly out, has one where he's getting sacked by like Derek Thomas or something, like something like that. Like there's a couple of them out there that are fun. Brett, but, Brett yeah, Favre has one, I think, too. Does, isn't Brett Favre being sacked by Warren Sapp in one of them? Like, isn't that, like, wasn't that immortalized, mm, I, I think, maybe? Be. That's so a hell, great could idea a for, could be a Brett Favre card. Who knows? for a sub-PC, you know, quarterbacks mm -hmm. getting sacked or <laughs> getting sacked by, like, other star players. Yeah. All right, guys, three great choices again this week. Let us know. Do you guys like them? Are you collecting them? Tell us in the comments, and we'll see you next week. Take care, guys. See you, boys. See you.